The objective of today is to articulate and set personal learning goals. So now that you can appreciate how much goes into a website by creating your own with only text, I want you to go hunting around for ideas that you'd like to implement on your own website. Um, right now at this point, the average student has not started uh, CSS or learning um, too much JavaScript. You've been playing a game um, to teach you the syntax of the JavaScript, but not actual commands that are often used. In progress is your web page, and what we've totally completed is your first public web page. Even though it's not much, um, it's done and it's out there. So, first step, right now everyone needs to go to Canvas and you're going to post a link to your website, okay? And I know it might not be too fancy, don't worry, no one's going to judge you on that. Uh, just post it right away and then that way students can visit each other's and reply directly to that with either compliments or suggestions or how did you do that. Um, those are the types of things I'm looking to get going in our discussion section. Feel free to, um, while you're waiting for everyone to up upload their links there, uh, feel free to visit your own websites that are of interest to you, uh, you know, as long as they're appropriate and hopefully they're not blocked. I know there's uh, many perfectly appropriate websites that are blocked. Um, if you run into um, any barriers like that, maybe if you have a cell phone, you can just start looking at that website um, from the mobile, which is going to look very different. And we're not there yet teaching you how to adjust um, your web page for mobile stuff, but we'll get there, okay? Um, so what you're doing is you're, you're visiting websites today, and you're going to create a list of things that you want um, on your own web page. Um, while waiting, if you're um, needing suggestions of what types of websites to check out, I suggest news ones, uh, CNN, MSNBC, Fox News, whichever um, bias you're interested in, or if there's ones that are non-bias you want to visit, go ahead. Uh, sports websites are great, video games, etc. And you're not going on those websites to like read the news of today. You're going to look at that website's page and look at features or structures that you want on your own web page. So here's an example of what I'm talking about. And this will be a think right share. You create this list and post it, okay? So you can say something like, I want a navigation bar. Or, oh, I want a comment section on my website with the ability to upvote. Or maybe I want this type of color schemes. Uh, for me, uh, my favorite's green, gray, and black. That mixture is just what I like uh, on a website. So that's what you're doing right now, just creating that list. All right, so now the really hard work begins. You're going to be deleting things probably and adding and adding and adding and adding and doing a lot of that and then publishing checking it out and then I'm um, deleting bad code you know we'll go through that whole process here in the next few days um, so there's the there's that hard Sisyphus work you're about to get into if you need a little motivation this is a great video of a 13 year old uh, Facebook engineer so yeah age is is not going to be a barrier to being able to create great things Today's DOL, so you have your list, right, and you've checked out a lot of uh, websites. In order to establish a goal, I want you to create uh, a list of the three top ones, top features that you really, really want and you think are at your level. So make your goal challenging but still achievable. So this is like a SMART goal, right? You have a date and you have uh, three very specific things and it looks achievable yet still challenging. So just a quick paragraph, make sure you put everything in it I just spoke on and you're good to go.